Hey, it's Joseph here. Finally, a Dell monitor is in the house. As you can see, the box is not necessarily in a pristine condition and Dell has provided this unit for me to review. Obviously, I'm gonna have to return just like other people have already done. So let's get through it. Okay, so it looks like it has a factory calibration and some quick manual to get this installed. And I think this is a bottom plate for the monitor. So the stand, and it's got a little screw for you to get the monitor arm up. And I see some cables. So USB-C to USB-C is included. And then a regular power cable. I guess there's no brick on this one, so perhaps the conversion is done inside of the unit, which is good to see. And then display to display port. All of the cables are kind of dusty. Maybe some of the reviewers have stored it in a warehouse or something. Okay, and this is seemingly the monitor arm or the neck portion. So over here, you just slot it in like that and then screw the bottom portion in and that will be sturdy enough. And then the main bit, which is the panel. The panel is the most delicate portion of the monitor, so handle it with care. It is quite a thin panel, and there you go. And also here it says 2560 by 1440, which is 1440p monitor. Let's get this panel situated on top of this monitor arm. If you were to do this on a desk that's not a standing desk, it's a bit easier. But all you need to do is just clip the top and then lower it, snap, everything's good. So I'm here, you can go left and right, forward, backward tilt motion there, and then also going up and down. And whilst we're looking at it, let's have a look at the back of the monitor. And for the amount of people who has touched this monitor, I'm surprised that this peel survived. Okay, so the Dell logo there, there's a grommet for all the cable routing. And to release this monitor, there's gonna be a little button that's right here. You can just push that and then lift the monitor to undo that. However, I want it to be sitting tight on the stand. So that's what we're gonna leave it as. Okay, so I'm a little bit late on the introduction of this monitor. But to be specific, the name of this monitor is Dell's Ultra Sharp U2721DE. And that's shown on this color calibration factory report. And here the report says I can go to standard sRGB modes and expect average Delta E less than two. So that is good to know. I'll be using that for color accuracy as color accuracy is something that's important in my workflow. And because I do a lot of visual graphics work, having a accurate monitor, accurate representation of the colors is quite important. Perhaps don't need HDR and all the high-end color aspects, but at least around 100% sRGB. So overall, the width and size is gonna be this, and then diagonally, it is gonna be 27 inch monitor. And particularly about 27 inch monitor, 27 inch and 1440p monitor so far has been my sweet spot when it comes to monitor. I'm currently using two 27 inch monitor with 1440p. Perhaps if you want a bit sharper image and text, then you can go to 32 inch 4K display, but I find 1440p to be sufficient as well as not introducing too much strain on your machine to calculate. And that is why I kind of have requested this specific unit maybe if I can tilt like this I can show you all the ports there you go that's a nice view so on the top there's gonna be power cable ports and then full-size HDMI and then display port and then USB type port I believe that one actually does power delivery up to 65 watt which is very good for connecting laptops and such and then the next one is another display port and then full size USB-A and then 3.5 mil headphone jack for speakers and such. And another USB type A port. I believe that one is continued power so you can charge different devices and then RJ45 ethernet port. So that is 
pretty much all you can ask for inside of a monitor. And then once you connect the USB-C cable to this monitor, so here are two additional USB type A ports. It is really nice that they include that on the side so you can connect your USB dongles for peripherals. And then you can also connect your external storage devices. So that comes in really handy, nice inclusion there. I wonder if everything is gonna connect to your device via USB-C. So meaning one single USB-C is gonna take display signal as well as connecting all of these peripherals as well as providing Providing power to your device so that is what I'm going to test and let's see and as I have displayed obviously it does a lot of tilting and even swivel to the vertical portrait position this comes in really handy if you're the type of person who does a long list of spreadsheets as well as doing a video review like this trying to show the bottom of the screen so if the camera would focus on that corner there are actually buttons here to allow you control of the device. So one, two, three, four, five different buttons. And then I believe this very bottom one is the power button. Click on that to control different things on your monitor, which I will do as soon as I get it connected. Okay, so let's connect the power cable and then the USB-C onto the back. So now I gotta connect this other end of USB-C onto the device, which is gonna be my trusty daily driver Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 device. And then just connect to the side. Okay, I am powered on my laptop as well, so it is actually charging. I believe it is charging at 65 power delivery because it is not telling me that it is slow charging or anything. And then it is asking me if I want to do English. Yes, I do want English. Select yes to enable following functions. Always on USB-C charging. Yes, I do want USB charging to be on all the time. Okay, here is a duplicate screen. Extend the displays so that I see one screen and then the monitor shows another screen. It is seemingly quite dim. It is because of my camera. Okay, so now you can see the screen as well as my face, I think the lighting kind of worked this way. Everything connected with a single cable going into the laptop and then all the display signal is going to the monitor as well as my laptop being charged, which is fantastic. If you're carrying around a laptop like this, there's no need for different docking station. It is gonna do everything and then you can connect different peripherals onto the monitor as well. So mouse and keyboard, different dongles. You can connect all of those into the USB ports that are on the monitor and then you'll be able to work with it. So on a Dell page, Dell Ultra Sharp 27 USB-C hub monitor and it retails for 509.99 USD, which is not a cheap price but it does go on sale so that's what you are gonna pay for if you were to buy off of this page here and here it is talking about the connectivity so you have rj45 the ethernet port as well as usb-c which is fantastic and then it is providing a 65 watt of power using usb-c so i am charging my laptop with that it is working really well quick transition from your desk to on the go setup and setup is a snap well I did it quite quickly as well so I can kind of attest to that and in terms of the spec it is 27 inch screen with QHD which is 2560 by 1440 resolution 1440p resolution and it is much more pixel than full HD but it is not as much as 4k display if you're understanding some of those figures and the color consistency comes standard so I really like the fact that it is 99% sRGB coverage which is kind of important for color accuracy work for me I do a lot of visual work therefore I rely on its color accuracy so I really appreciate that and also it is saying 85% coverage for DCI-P3 color space and then it is an IPS panel therefore it is gonna have maximum viewing range and overall good color accuracy I can see the screen from the side of the screen like this so which is very good there's no color shifting because of that 
and then it is gonna allow you to swivel tilt which I kind of demonstrated and you can route the cables through the grommet there which I didn't but I suppose you can tuck it away nicely and it is saying stuff about freeing up your desk space because you can have two USB downstream ports so one for charging and then connecting other devices and then one thing I did want to cover is the fact that it is 60 Hertz refresh rate which is plenty for productivity and the brightness is 350 nits and then the response time is 8 milliseconds for normal mode and then 5 milliseconds for fast mode and it is coming with sort of matte finish on the screen which is really good for productivity and I also wanted to mention the fact that this monitor has a VESA mount, therefore you can just mount it onto your existing monitor arms. So I think that is it. So what do you think about this monitor? I think this is a really good proposition for this monitor to have one single cable connecting to your laptop like this one here and then connecting display as well as all the peripherals and then charging your laptop. It makes it really easy, especially if you're the type of person who goes in and out a lot with your laptop if you're type of person who carries around ultra light or type of laptop that charges via USB-C and then you're just needing a bigger screen whenever you come to your office and connect to bigger screen and then work off of that that's gonna be really really nice so if you're that type of person this is gonna come in really handy $510 for a single monitor is quite a lot but it introduces sort of different functionality to your overall productivity setup. So I think that is to be considered for. So I hope you have liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel if you wanna continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time, bye.